In 2007, I made the leap into starting my own farm, and in preparation for that, I had actually managed to save about $10,000, um, which seemed like a lot of money to me at the time. Um, I had done a business plan, three-year financial projections. Um, I also had this additional fellowship income coming in, so I had a little bit of a cushion in that regard. But even with all of that working for me, um, by April of 2008, I could see in my financial projection all these red numbers. And that was the famed cash flow crisis that a lot of people had warned me about in the spring that a lot of farmers face, and this book puts a lot of farmers on a credit cycle. Um, so I thought, okay, I need to deal with this, and in early spring of 2008, I started looking around for credit. And I was basically looking for money in order to afford an irrigation system. And I went to some banks. The credit that I could have qualified for was very expensive, 10 to 12 percent interest rates, and I didn't think I could afford that. Um, I went to some community development financial institutions, and uh, it was kind of a similar thing, long lag time. I wouldn't have had the money in time to afford my irrigation system, which was had to be in by May. Um, so finally, I went to the USDA Farm Service Agency, and I thought, well, perfect, the beginning farmer loan program. I am, like, the poster child, right? And I went in there, and I sat down with my loan agent, and I told him my situation, and I said, well, I um, want to put in this irrigation system. It's a buried mainline, and I'm renting land from my mom on, on a family farm. And he said, oh, oh, it's your, so you're leasing? Well, we can't give you any money for any permanent improvements to the land. And I looked at him, and I said, well, but it's a family farm. I mean, I think I'm going to own it someday. <laughs> he said, it doesn't matter. Um, you don't own it, so we can't give you any money to do that. So he basically just stopped me dead in my tracks, and I was a little panicked because I didn't know where else to look. But I decided to take it a step further with him because I was curious at this point. Like, who does qualify for these loans? And um, so I asked him, I said, well, even if I could figure out a way to qualify for this money, what would I be eligible for? And he said, oh, well, we just take your projected income, and, or projected yield off the crops you're growing, times the state commodity prices, and we figure out your projected income, and that's what we base your loan on. And I said, uh, you know, my red flags went up, like, state commodity prices? I said, well, what are, what are some of the state commodity prices? And he said, well, what are you growing? I said, okay, asparagus, um, 40 cents a pound. Winter squash, 8 cents a pound. Carrots, 20 cents a pound. And I said, Jim, we're on two separate planets. I mean, I'm doing farm direct relationship marketing. I'm going to get 10 times that direct marketing this food. And he said, well, that's great if you have three years of records to prove you've received those prices. And I said, but I'm a beginning farmer. <laughs> that's why I'm here. And he said, well, sorry. So I hit a major dead end in this finance system that I thought was built for me. And um, what I ended up doing was putting all of my debt on a 0% one-year credit card, which was very cheap credit, but very risky credit, in my opinion. And it made me very nervous, because I had no idea what my income was going to look like in my first year of farming, and whether I would actually be able to pay that back, or whether I was going to end up in the land of 18% interest rates. Um, I also, in addition to the credit card, was able to borrow $2,000 from my now husband. And everyone always jokes, is that why he's your husband now? <laughs> you owed him? Um, I actually did pay him back, but I did marry him before I paid him back. Um, and I also had an individual development account, which allowed me to save $2,000, and I had a three-to-one match. So I ended up with eight grand that I was able to put into infrastructure on the farm, which was fantastic, but kind of a drop in the bucket when you really think about what you need financially. Um, and to me, you know, scrabbling all that together was really not a policy solution. It was just grasping for whatever straws were at my disposal. And, um, in thinking about it over the last two years, what I feel like is really needed in the credit world for people like me, which I'm a relatively small farmer, and I, I think that's actually a pretty common trend in beginning farmers because most of us start with little capital and have to start small and grow. Um, so more programs like the Carrot Project, microfinance, you know, options for ten to fifteen, fifty thousand dollar loans that could be paid back in one to five years at a reasonable interest rate, maybe five to seven percent. Um, I also think that we need changes in the USDA FSA loans um, such that those loan amounts aren't predicated on commodity prices. There should be a different category because there's a lot of us who aren't commodity growers anymore. Um, 
I also think that we need to make sure that in all these farm training and farm incubator programs that are out there that I love and applaud, that financial training is a big part of what goes on. And helping people understand, like getting ready to borrow training, which is something I didn't have and I wish I had because I had no idea how much lead time it was going to take. And I should have started much sooner, but I never knew that. Um, and then I also think in the arena of credit, there's really an issue with buying farmland. I know a lot of friends who have made the leap to actually purchase a piece of land. And in order to qualify for a mortgage, they had to prove to the bank that they were not farming. The only way they could get a mortgage was to show they had off-farm income, zero farm income, or to call it a country retreat or a country estate. And they could not get a loan to buy a farm. And that, to me, is a pretty major obstacle if you want to farm and pay off your land by farming. 